That was some kind of game yesterday between the Canucks and the Maple Leafs for Hockey Day in Canada. Fitting that the festivities for the day were in Victoria, BC, and the Canucks came up with a huge win. That team just continues to be the class of the NHL. Demko definitely had a weird night against the Leafs, but he's obviously an elite goalie. Elias Pettersson has been crazy good this year. Same thing for JT Miller, Quinn Hughes. Brock Besser's playing like the goal scorer the Canucks thought they were going to get after that 2017-18 rookie season from him. And then they're also getting big-time contributions from guys like Dakota Joshua and Niels Hoaglander. Speaking of him, he gets the scoring kicked off in this one. Puck goes to the net. Giordano traps Hoaglander's stick in his armpit for a second. He's able to free it and knock the puck home for a 1-0 lead for the Canucks early. Then a couple minutes later, guess who? Just a sweet, sweet shot by Hoaglander. Then a few minutes after that, Connor Garland puts one home. And I love that celebration. The stick twirl and the holster was just so smooth. And at this point, if you're a Leaf fan, you gotta be thinking, you're kidding me, right? We're coming off a massive win in Calgary to snap an ugly losing streak. We finally got momentum going in the right direction again, and we're down 3 0 less than 15 minutes into the first. Somebody get Dart Guy behind the bench. But then something kind of wild happened. What if I told you from here, Nylander scored on a floater without the puck even hitting anything? Yep, he did. And in fairness to Demko here, I think he's screened by what, seven foot five Tyler Myers there? Still, that was definitely a shocker, and all of a sudden it's 3 1. Then a couple minutes later, Marner's got the puck above the hash marks, makes a sick pass across to McCabe. That was a tight window and an elite play by Marner. And Demko got a piece of it. He was so close to making a highlight reel save here, but just didn't get enough of it. Now it's 3-2, and it's like, are they actually going to do this? Are they actually going to be able to complete the comeback here? Then we're still in the second. Nylander scores another floater. Or at least it looked that way until you realize it tipped off the Canucks player's stick and got some serious air. Either way, it's 3-3, not even halfway through the second period. A game that the Canucks were dominating, winning by three. And I think a lot of people were wondering, are the Canucks going to route the Leafs right now? Fast forward a little bit, the Leafs storm back, and we got a game here. And look, at this point, it would have been real easy for the Canucks leadership group to be like, hey, we've had a great season here. It's okay, guys. But we've heard Rick talk it, preach it all season long. The details, even in big wins, I didn't like our details. I want us to be better in certain areas of the game. We have to improve a lot of things. I think that's a huge reason why the Canucks are where they are this year is because of their commitment to that. And the guy on the ice who leads the charge in that respect... It's the captain. After the 3-3 goal by the Leafs, I saw Quinn Hughes show maybe some of the most frustration I've seen him show in his NHL career, and I loved it. This wasn't him being a crybaby or a whiner or anything like that. This was one of the most level-headed, even-keel guys in the entire league, deliberately deciding to let his frustration show. Yes, obviously because he's mad that the Leafs just tied the game, for sure, but also almost as if to send a message to his team like, guys, we're a good team, but if we want to win a Stanley Cup, this cannot happen. This isn't a guy who goes around breaking sticks every second shift or every time he's on for a goal against. I think he was so ticked off about this because he knows how great this team can be and he doesn't want to let bad habits like that creep in. Things definitely changed afterwards. Yes, they had a bad giveaway on the power play to give Mitch Marner a shorthand breakaway and score. That definitely wasn't great and I'm sure that's something they'll talk about. And by no means was this game a Picasso by the Vancouver Canucks. But when given the chance, they put the game out of reach and they kept it there. Partially thanks to Quinn Hughes. Yes, they've got a lot of work to do. Rick Tockett and the gang, they know that. But that's why I think this Canucks team is legit. They're not just happy with winning or being a good team. They want to be playoff ready. I think Quinn Hughes epitomizes that. I know some people aren't going to like what he did on the bench last night, but I just like seeing how much he cares. And yes, I like how he keeps his emotions in check, but hey, in the game of hockey, sometimes it's a good thing to let yourself run hot. If you want more Canucks content, you know what to do. Like the video, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome.